In this video, I'm going to reveal the truth behind a Cloud Guru and sites like a like Linux Academy. So let me just say before I begin the video that without a Cloud Guru and Linux Academy, I probably wouldn't have as many certifications as I do today, like six of them, six AWS certifications. But well, let me just tell you a story of how it began with my journey, and then we can talk about maybe the, the downsides of it. So ever since a coworker told me about some courses on Udemy, I got addicted to these courses because I really wanted to get all the like AWS certifications to start with. And I, I wanted to become better than the coworker, of course, <laughs> knowing me. So this is all fine and great. And until there's no problems with learning. I, I really like learning. And these sites do offer good learning opportunities. The question is, what are they offering you to learn about? And so that's when I learned that these Udemy courses were actually courses from a Cloud Guru. They just been posted on Udemy, and so from then on, like time passed, like a couple months, and I got six AWS certifications, mainly from a Cloud Guru, and of course some other like practice test sites as well. But what I didn't know is that these courses didn't have the value that was advertised by a Cloud Guru. They advertise you, oh, it's going to get you a job. It's going to get you whatever you want. It'll make your dreams come true. It'll give you three wishes. But the, I mean, that's what they said in pretty much every course, that this is a very highly sought after certification. This is, you need this, and you'll get another $20 million in your next paycheck. Of course, they didn't say that exactly. But it's not what they were advertising some great things that weren't actually don't actually happen immediately once you get the certification. No one really cares as much as they do. So if you've ever taken a Cloud Guru course or kind of a course sim related to it or similar to it, they'll always spend a good amount of time near the beginning, always near the beginning, talking about the uses of the certification and why employers really care about the certification. They really care that you know about security, big data. They really know, care that you're an architect or whatnot. So they'll say things like, if you really care about security, you should go take the security specialty certification because the security specialty certification, <laughs> sorry, the security specialty certification is really sought after. It's the most sought after certification in the tech industry with every ADM certification because every certification really care or every company cares about security. I've been saying certification too much. So yes, every company does care about security. I mean, you're not a good company if you don't care about security. The issue with the claim is that, yes, every company cares about security, but not every company cares about the AWS certif security certification specialty. Just because you can know how to take know how to take a course online doesn't mean you're good enough to secure a company. It's just one and one don't add up. So for example, let's take a look at some like the fan companies like Google or Microsoft, and maybe not Netflix because they use AWS, but what would Google and Microsoft care about you having the AWS cloud security specialty? So yes, they might care like a little bit, but I they, they don't care about the competitor Amazon because they have their own cloud platforms, Google Cloud and, and Microsoft Azure. So they're trying to compete with AWS and Amazon. Why would they care? if you are certified in security for the opposing enemy cloud platform. They might even, like these certifications might even hurt your chances of getting into these companies because why would they, they'll see like the, the enemy and they'll think, oh, this person cares way more about Amazon than about Google or Microsoft. So I don't want to hire them. They can go get a job at Amazon easy. I'm not going to hire this guy because he cares way too much about Amazon and not enough about Google. Why doesn't he have the Google certification? Why doesn't he have the Azure certification? And at the end of the day, these big companies really don't care what certifications you have. They care about if you can write good code, if you can have the team, like you're fitting into the team, you can fit into the company culture, and if you can write secure like programs and stuff like that. Not that if you are certified in some of the cloud things. And that's what the issue is with these cloud course sellers. They want to sell you the dream 
or they want to show you, sell you the shovel, which is always more profitable than working as than working at the company itself because they're going to make way more money selling you the course than if they went out and did what they preached and worked like um, at these companies themselves. I think only at Cl a Cloud Guru, there's only one person that has worked at a AWS out of like I don't know how many employees they have, but it's at least above ten. <laughs> So I've heard many arguments against AWS certifications, and one of them has been if the cloud platform had such a great user experience and it was so easy to use, why would you need certification to show that you know how to use it? That, that, that's one thing that's always stuck with me. It was like some Reddit comment, why would you need these certifications if it's so easy to use? And yeah, that, that's, I guess, a straightforward argument, right? But it, it kind of makes sense. and it, I. I do think that the cloud platforms are easy to use. So what's the point of the certifications then? Other than to show that you have used this before and that's you can use it. And another thing is that these certifications, they say, yo, it's recommended to have five years of experience in security. They get the security specialty certification. And it's recommended five five years of big data to have the big data cert AWS big data certification. But I like I have videos on both of these, and it took me less than a month for big data, and then less than three weeks for the security specialty. Why would I? Why would I want to spend five years using these AWS platforms just to get the certifications when I, you can just do it just by like taking some course online? That kind of like shows you, yeah, maybe these courses are really good at teaching you for the certification. But if it's that easy to get the certification, that kind of diminishes the value of the certification in general, right? And it really just shows that AWS is easy to use. We don't need certifications if you can just get the certif you can just use AWS and be done with it. You don't have to care about the certifications. Another thing, since this is like AWS Cloud Guru exposed, is that Cloud Guru spends so much production value on the first like easiest certifications like on the associate certification, like Solutions Architect Associates, Developer Associate, they spend so much um, production value on those courses because, of course, they're the most taken courses. They want to spend as much, make them have the highest quality on them. But when you go and take the specialty courses or the professional courses, you're going to see that these specialty courses and professional courses, they don't have the good production value as the first ones. So it's, it's kind of like you get scammed into this, oh, I got to take these courses since they're so helpful. And they are helpful to get the certifications. But you kind of get hooked into it with the associate level certifications. I mean, I'm not saying that this is a bad business practice. It's very great business practice because it gets a cloud guru money and they're a business, so they need to make money. And most people aren't going to take these professional and specialty courses, so they're going to get some guy to spend like a little bit of time and money on this course because not many people will take it. Um, so how, why spend money or time on something when it's, when it doesn't really matter? So during the, the like solutions architect associate courses, they always say, yeah, yeah we hate, we hate PowerPoints here at a Cloud Guru. You have to really learn by practicing. And yeah, that might hold true sometimes, but and I, I did follow along for that. But when when you went to the eventually like the hardest certification that is offered by AWS, you'll you'll see the the networking one, the course that a Cloud Guru provides for it. It's all PowerPoint. They kind of ca contradict themselves there, and I think the reasoning they say in the like the course like we don't show you everything, like on practice instead of PowerPoint because they said oh it'll take too long. But I guess maybe it should take too long, or it should take a long time. Instead of trying to sell, oh, it's a short course, you can just take the course. But I don't know. I'm not making the course. So I don't know <laughs> why they did that. So an example, like the Solutions Architect Associate, they have two people, um, I guess, teaching the Solutions Architect Associate course. While like for networking and the specialties, they usually only have one person, because they don't really care much about those specialty courses or the professional courses. So the question comes down to, should you take these A Cloud Guru courses? And I could say, yeah, take these courses so you can become addicted to AWS and you can watch my other videos, go for it. But 
I'm going to be honest with you here, many cloud businesses like ACOG Guru and Lace Academy will take you to the associate exams since they'll want you to pay more. And then they'll just get you addicted to it and they'll just keep having you hooked. And many people don't even finish like these certifications because it's kind of like Cloud Guru is kind of like a gym membership. And they also kind of like recommend taking all three associate exams, but that wasn't worth it at all. I shouldn't have even taken three. I should have taken one. Actually, I shouldn't, yeah, one was fine, honestly, just to get what it was worth. But they kind of brainwashed you thinking, oh, you need to take these and these and these. And then boom, you're taking all of them suddenly. And then it won't help you get a job. <laughs> Having three certifications doesn't really matter. It might get you a foot in the door, like, oh, this guy knows how to take three certifications, but it doesn't really matter in the long scheme of things. So back to why Cloud Guru and Linux Academy and these, cor these kind of courses are kind of like gym memberships. Because think of a gym. You go to a gym and you sign up for a gym because you say you're going to use the gym, but most people don't actually use the gym. Most people just go to use the gym like once a month or something like that and say, yeah, I got to keep this gym membership so I can get healthy and stuff like that. It's the same thing with Cloud Guru. You want you want to use Cloud Guru because you want to get better. You want to get certified, and yeah, you can say it'll help you get better at AWS specifically. But that'll tie you down to AWS. And do you want to be tied down to one company? It's kind of the same reason why I renamed my Alexa, the wake word, to computer. I don't want to get tied down to Amazon or Alexa. And you're never going to cancel Cloud Guru because you're never going to finish it if you only do it once a month. Like, you're never going to get healthy if you go to the gym only once a month. So you'll use it once or twice a month and they'll profit whether you really use it or not. So many, many <laughs> if you're clever enough, you're going to use it or get the certification for like one month. You'll, you'll get all the one, the one you need and then you'll just quit it. Otherwise, you're just going to be wasting like the how many months you're going to spend on it and you can do that i'm not saying you shouldn't but yeah anyways that's the end of this video thanks for watching i hope you gained some insight about it if you liked the video can you subscribe and like and i'll talk to you later peace